Hi guys! Um, it is Monday, December 11th. This is like my third or fourth attempt at filming this and I'm just not getting anywhere. Which kind of describes my day. I finished The Lady of the Rivers by Philippa Gregory on Saturday and I tried to pick up The White Queen um, and I just didn't, I couldn't get into it. I felt, I really wanted to read it and I want to continue on with the series. I gave The Lady of the Rivers about 3 out of 5 stars. But I think the series will get better. I just... I wanted to read something kind of dark and despairing and just Stephen King. But I'm not reading Stephen King because the last book of the year I want to read is going to be a Stephen King novel. I really... It's, it's not Stephen King. It's his... It's the series of his that I'm reading. The trilogy. That is what I really want to finish, but I want that to be my last book of 2017 because I kind of started with it, I think. Irregardless, I want it to be my last book of the year, so I need another book or two and to go along with that kind of dark theme or like questionable human being themes, I, I'm going to read Black Mass by Dick Lair and Gerard O'Neill. It's about Whitey Bulger, Mafia, the FBI. I'm very into the the Mafia and kind of the different hitmen of the Mafia because I find that to be very interesting. I'm not very far into it. I just started it. I'm on page 12 or 13. Um, I meant to read this afternoon during nap time because I had the day off and I ended up editing so there went two hours of my nap time reading time because I had the day off. But it's okay. Things need to get done, and things were getting done. And now I have cute babies to, to keep me busy. So I will update you guys in the morning. I hope to get quite a bit of reading done. So I'll update you in the morning and let you know where I'm at. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday morning. I got a little bit of reading done, but not as much as I want. I'm only about 30 pages in now. So I only read like 20 pages last night, which isn't normal, but I was just tired. So I'm going to, I've done a little bit of reading this morning, not a lot. Um, we had kind of a rough night with our youngest son and sleeping. So um, this morning, I'm going to try and get a little bit of reading done the last few minutes before the boys get up. And I will check back in with you later. I know that's not much of an update, but I just don't the whole lot really happened. Um still reading Black Mass. So we shall just see how it goes. <laughs> Thursday. I didn't do an update yesterday because I just didn't and when I sat down to actually film an update yesterday evening my phone my phone my camera battery was dead. So no update from yesterday. I am currently reading The Storyteller by Jody Picholt. I'm on page 170 and I really I really like it. I'm having, it's a tough subject matter, it deals with the Holocaust, intimately with the Holocaust, um, and it's setting up quite an interesting like, conflict. Um, I, I love our characters, I love the depth that they have, um, and how, how rich their history and past is. 
So that is what I'm doing. It's actually quite chilly this morning. Um, and I really wish I could just curl up all day today and read it because it's kind of hooked me in a way that I want to just read to unfold the story, um, but not so much that I'm staying up all night reading it. I'd rather read it during the day. I think it's because some of the subject matter um, is, is horrendous. Um, obviously you're dealing with the Holocaust, so that brings its own situation in that I said really love us. But the, uh, the subject matter can get a little intense, and so like I stayed up a little bit too late last night reading it because I wanted to get a different image in my head than the one that was placed there due to the nature of the story. So with that being said, I am going to make myself some tea and breakfast to get a little bit of reading done and we'll see where the day takes us. It's the best part of the morning. Oh yes. Yes, please. Oh yes, turn beautiful colors. Good morning, guys. It is Friday the 15th. It is International Tea Day. So, happy International Tea Day. Hmm. <sighs> and, let's see. So, I am almost done with The Storyteller by Jodi Picoult. And, I cried. I cried. I cried so hard. Let me get this in. I'm on page 300. 300 and something. 359, I guess? There's like a, a little like part. I'm on part three. It's just starting part three. And I had to put the book down. Um, mostly because I want to savor the end because things are going to start ha like happening back in present day now. And. I wanted to really savor that and I wanted to take a little bit, take the rest of the evening, go to sleep because it was really late last night and savor what I had read and how I cried just thinking about all of it and today I plan on finishing The Storyteller by Joey Picoult because to be completely honest I cannot stop it. There's not that much left. Like I said I'm on like 359 and I think there is maybe a hundred pages left if that yeah actually read right about exactly a hundred pages left of the story I want to see what happens because one of the things that we learn in this section of the book is how how close our characters are to each other in a way that they don't even realize um, which is quite interesting that Jodi Picoult did that. I felt like the story could have gone when we started deal getting into it. I'm trying not to give too many spoilers and maybe I should talk about this in a wrap up. But I felt like it was interesting which direction she's taken our characters. Um, and I love, I, one of the biggest things that I have to say, this is really like the overarching theme of this novel is something that I've never really even thought about. Um, Anyway, I'm going to book chat about that later. This I don't even know if all this will stay in this video because it will be really long. So I'm going to finish the Storyteller. I don't know what I'm going to pick up next. <laughs> Story of my life. I started this vlog with Black Mass. And I started last week's vlog with Wolf Hall. So those are two books that I still need to finish. So I might go back. Wolf Hall has kind of been calling to me a little bit more lately. So I might go back to two. That's an interesting thought. I might do that and finish that up. But we'll see. I'm not making any decisions right now um, on that because 
as we have determined at this point in time, I'm probably going to change my mind because this was like a completely random, I just went downstairs and was like, oh, this, this book I heard about, I got it as a recognition from a friend like a year and a half ago. I should read it. Why not? One of the last couple books of the year. Um, do it. So my plan right now is to finish a storyteller, finish another book, and then pick up um, a Stephen King novel to close out 2017 with. Why not? Alrighty, I will check in with you guys a little bit later on. Hopefully I can film my reaction to the end of this novel tonight. If it won't be tonight, it'll be first thing in the morning tomorrow. Alrighty, I'll update you guys later. Hello! So, I finished The Storyteller by Jodi Picoult last night. I did not film my immediate reaction because I was just... It was a mess. That book, that book is absolutely incredible. There are so many themes and just just such a topic to really write a book on and then not even have it like it's relating to the topic and the overall theme be relatable beyond just the Holocaust and you know what happened in that it's just incredible um, and to have a book really make you think about yourself and put yourself in that position and what would you do and uh, I could go on and on right now, but I'm going to have to, I need to gather my thoughts and then I might put together a little book chat and, and talk about it a little bit more, but I think I need to let it sit and gather my thoughts before I really word vomit everything out at you guys. Um, five out of five, the best book I have read in 2017, hands down, absolutely incredible, just ripped me to pieces all over. Um, with having just read that book and feeling just emotionally spit out, um, <laughs> I don't really know what I'm going to pick up. I've got three kind of potentials. I can finish Wolf Hall um, by Hilary Mantel, which I've been, I have like, I don't know, a third of the way through maybe. I could start The Bookseller. Um, which just kind of continues on the theme that I've had lately of books about books and reading. Um, or I could just jump right in to my Stephen King book that I'm kind of holding out on because I feel like I'm going to read it really, really fast. Not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. We'll have to kind of wait and see. I've got a lot going on today, so there's not really a lot of time today to read. And tomorrow, I am actually going to film this and put it as a separate video for you guys, but I am going to do a book clear out of my bookshelves um, and kind of just go through everything. It's something I've been needing to do and just go through everything, pull out stuff that I'm just not reading. I'm not interested. I've had it for too long. It's not happening. Um, make some space for some new books, pretty much. Um... But I'm going to do that tomorrow during nap time, so there's not really a lot of time to read anyway, which is probably a good thing because I just need to sit other than the evenings. Um, but basically, I've not read anything yet today. I finished a book last night. I'm kind of just sitting in that finished book wondrousness. So I will probably not update you today, but update you tomorrow because hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to tell you that I've started reading something, anything. <laughs> update this morning because it's been a little crazy. I am currently sitting in a pile of books. I just did my end of year clean out of my bookshelves. I filmed it for you so you could see it. 
Um, and I figured I'd give you a little reading update while I was down here. I got this crazy idea yesterday that at the end of the day I started this book and I was like reading it and reading it and I was like, you know what, I could stay up and finish this book today. And so I stayed up and I finished the book last night and that was The Bookseller by Cynthia Swanson. Swanson. <laughs> um... It was a solid read, three and a half. I don't know what I'm gonna reach for, so I I need to pick up End of Watch by Stephen King. And I looked back, and this is what I thought happened. I started the year with Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King, which is the start of the truly really wanna delve back into the King Killer King Killer Chronicles. Um and but that is I'll give you an idea. This is the name of the wind. And the next book in it is even longer. So, I can't really pick that up and then pick up... It's not going to turn out well for my reading goal, but I really want to pick it up. So, once again, I'm at this loss. I also have Wolf Hall that I haven't read yet. So, those are kind of like... I haven't finished reading. I'm out a third of the way through it. So, I'm going to just try and see what happens tonight pretty much to be completely honest um i don't really have any like short books on my tbr shelves that are really intriguing me that are like gonna i think gonna be short easy books so once again as come every single vlog i've done to date and is actually a pretty standard in my reading life i don't know what i want to read um but i'm gonna go ahead and end this reading vlog here. My goal is to do these Sunday to Sunday and then post them Monday or Tuesday depending on scheduling. So for example, so this, I would start the next vlog with actually, this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do Sunday to Sunday and I'm going to have the video posted either Monday or Tuesday depending on my children, my editing, my computer, everything else. I am going to end the vlogs like halfway through. So Sunday's going to be kind of a wash either way. So I'll start the new vlog tonight if this makes any sense. It'll be like, it'll work out. It'll merge somehow seamlessly. So anyway, I am going to end this vlog here and stay stick around for next week. And I will get with you about what I am reading. Hopefully I have a better week next week is the last week. This this coming week, I should say, is the last week before Christmas. So, um, yeah. I will talk to you guys later. If you like what you see, please hit the like, the thumbs up, like, and subscribe.